Hello there, it's time for more cooking off grid in the RV. And this time it, it also involves a story about function stacking. So in order to use this Instapot, I have to run the generator. Yeah, so I'm gonna be Instapotting some of our own rabbit quarters with vegetables in the Instapot during the heat of the day. Here at my kitchen counter, I have the lamb cam and I am observing during siesta time period. It's here 1130, so it's really hot. The livestock guardian dog, Amarok. He's outside of his crate and he is coexisting with his lambs. So I get to watch that and if he gets frisky and wants to play with them, I can go and intervene and distract him to do things he's supposed to do. <laughs> he's supposed to protect them, not harass them. But this lamb cam is perfect. I can charge it up while the generator is running and monitor while I cook. At the same time, I'm able to run a load of laundry on the generator. And not only is that stacking the function of having the generator on and burning gasoline, but the water goes into this gray water barrel. And drains through this hose. Out to where I am preparing a new basin garden which is also going to harvest the runoff from this driveway. So here comes the gray water, and that's gonna make this extremely tough, uh, dry soil workable. So since we're out here, I thought I'd show you the garden and what the varmints have been doing. They've been snipping many brassicas and all four amaranths off at the base those are dusted, so I'm going to have to replant this. And I just deadheaded that calendula. And there's a volunteer wildflower, little daisy, kohlrabi. Beets are growing. The varmints took a stab at them, but they're okay. These snap peas are blooming. They're much shorter than the snap peas were in San Bernardino, but... <laughs> I'm just happy they're happening. And the varmints took advantage of the Swiss chard. Luckily that's bouncing back. They nibbled at these cabbages. I don't think they liked them very much because they didn't really eat them. Uh, they've left these Calabrese broccolis alone so far. <laughs> and these uh, cauliflowers. Yeah. Uh, they sampled the Thai basil, but did not eliminate it. We'll see what happens. So that's the garden right now. Not as, not as excellent as it was last time I showed it to you. But today I'm going to throw a sweet potato sprouting into the center of this fertility pit. And we'll see what goes on. Okay, so to start the recipe, I put the Instapot on saute. And because rabbit is a very lean type of meat, I put a whole stick of butter in there to saute it in. So when that starts to melt and get hot, I'm gonna go ahead and brown those rabbit quarters. So I'll come back to you when I'm doing that. Oh, I forgot to mention the other cause to have the generator on during the heat of the day is this top temperature is making sure that the deep freezers outside are staying cold. And so we do need to turn it on during the heat of the day. Uh, I'm supposed to keep it in the single digits. I could technically turn it off right now if I were not doing other things as well. But when I turned it on, it was about 15 degrees and it's supposed to keep it, I'm supposed to monitor and keep it below 20. And the final reason for 
uh, keeping that generator running during the heat of the day and choosing to do some of these chores when it's hot is this way I can run the fan and not only have it be gasoline powered, it's just adding on to the burden of the generator which is perf performing multiple functions. So that's pretty chill. Alright, this butter is starting to fry up, so I'm going to add these rabbit pieces. Pretty nice big quarters there. Hind leg. There goes the front leg. And another hind leg. And another front leg. Okay, so I'm going to brown these on all sides. So maybe three minutes, three to five minutes per side. I'll check back with you. All right, we're getting a little bit of color on these rabbit quarters. You can decide how, mo how brown you would like to do them. I marinated these in some, uh, just some Italian dressing. I'm gonna keep on going, maybe turn them again so I get more of that darker brown color. And there's um, no reason not to multitask cooking using the electric Instapot. Freeze up the propane stove. So I'm going to fry up some pork sausage and get some quiche filling going. I have a lot of extra eggs right now. Also going to whip up some vanilla custard with some eggs. So this is stacking functions on top of functions. All right, that's looking mighty brown, so I'm going to pull those pieces out, and I'm going to saute the onions. Yes, here goes. And hopefully these onions will deglaze. Because then... I'm going to put the trivet in the bottom and pile up layering the rabbit and the vegetables and seasoning. Yeah, so check it out. All that fondant has come off of the bottom. Nice and clean. So that has turned the onions to a nice caramel brown color, but they have not themselves caramelized yet. So I'm going to let this go a little bit longer until the actual onions are translucent at least. They're still opaque and white underneath the uh, coating from browning the meat in there. I'll be back. All right, I'm feeling impatient, so I'm gonna call those good enough. I'm gonna pull those onions out and stick them in with the rabbit temporarily. Put in the trivet and I'll show you how I layer everything in. All right, now you can see what I'm talking about with the trivet. So I'll show you each thing that I layer. Potatoes. Carrots. Rabbit quarters. Mushrooms. Red bell pepper and celery. Onions. And I put in some liquid, some better than bullion mushroom base. This came from our prepping stash from the old place. And then when we arrived here, we noticed it was time to use it up. So use it up we have. <laughs> So I put some parsley and some minced garlic in there as well. Next up is to seal it and to pressure cook it. I'm going to pressure cook it for one hour because I believe that it was adult rabbit quarters. So those are going to be kind of tough and I want them to fall off the bone and be tender. All right. So that's uh, how I make rabbit stew.
for some reason, doing things for one hour seems to be the sweet spot on this machine. All right, and I'm gonna press no to keep warm because <laughs> this thing will stay warm for like 12 hours after it's done cooking. All right, well, my sausage is all browned and if the varmints had not eaten my Swiss chard, that would be going in here. But instead, it's gonna be some frozen spinach. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed my recipe, how to cook in the RV and function stack using the generator. I hope you have a beautiful day. Cheers and blessings. Bye-bye.